all sorts on this, isn't it? Right, you join me here on the banks of Newbegin Ponds in Sheffield. I just thought I'd come down after work and thought I'd do a little bit of jigger fishing. Right, we'll start at the top. So we've got a pink reactor core elastic, it's around about an 8 hollow. Um, we've got 0.16 line and I've got a float stop there. Now that is there if I want to push it down or push it back up. So we can change depths of the jigger by having that float stop there. Very important to have a float stop there or you can use some shot, whatever you want to use. Slide the jigger on. This is a jigger float. This is a two number eights jigger float. A little bit weighted at the bottom there. These are from Midi, fantastic piece of kit. Um, and these are available now. I think they're in, available in two number eights and three number eights, this one. Uh, I've got four number tens on. Um, don't know why I've got four number tens on. Probably didn't have number any in number eight shot, but um, that's what I've got. And then you've got a loop to loop, and I've got a four inch up length down to a size 16 hook and the most important thing is getting your band right now you don't want one of them super micro bands you want a middle base band I'll show you which ones I mean on the screen now and basically that's the most important thing now some people use banded maggot but um, if you're fishing caster what you need to do is leave your casters out a little bit so that they start turning uh, orangey dark dark red now on the hook a lot of people get mistake by putting a dark red caster on that's just gonna snap in your hand what you're looking for is an orange one which has got a bit more bounce to it basically it's not as crispy as you would call it so you're looking for the orange one get an orange one and basically all you do is just slide it on so you hold the uh, caster in your finger and then your other two fingers you just slide in the bait band round a caster and just push it on there you go simple as that that's on and that hopefully will stay on and catches a few fish so very simple to get it to get it the rig set up now you can have a few jiggers set up with different depths um, you're not looking for a long piece of line you only want it a short piece of line so if you are first time doing these I'll probably do one about a foot or maybe a foot and a half and then get your stop on make sure you got your stop on and that jigger basically just goes up and down and when you're fishing so when you're fishing like that obviously the, the water the shot will push that jigger down like that and your float will be going down and then all you're doing is moving it up and down like that with your, with your pole and hopefully the fish will eat the bait and then when you jig it up it'll hook them basically that's how it is now some people overshot these and you can just hold them in the wind or hold them tight and let the elastic pull out now you can do that and it is a deadly method but we're gonna have a go at jigging it and I probably I'll have a go at that later and just hold it there fire some casters out and let let the um, you know let the elastic uh, pull out at the end of the pole but the main features are get your band right get your caster on make sure your floats moving up and down to a stop uh, to a, uh, a bead or a stop and a, important to have a, a light elastic now you want, don't want too light elastic if you're fishing for carp or something like that but F1 venue or Silver's place like this with a few carp in it this is perfect 8 reactor core pink elastic from midi perfect so that's the setup it's really easy we've got I went in Fishermen the other day and I've got about four pints of casters left. You're going to need plenty of casters to keep that feed going in. The more you feed it, the more you'll get best out of your peg and keep the changes ringing. So feed, don't feed, swing it round, all sorts of business um, to keep them fish coming. That's it. Anyway, I'm going to turn around. I've already had a few fish because you can see as my trousers are wet. I've had a few skimmers and a few eyes, so I'm going to carry on fishing and uh, show you how it's done. So uh, let's uh, let's see if we can catch a few more. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to feed it a couple of times and then we're going to go over the top. So just get his range. Beautiful. Right, let's get over the top. 
Now I'm fishing at 13 meters, so I'll just leave it out to the side at the second, get comfortable, get me catapult, get me um yeah, just basically you get comfortable. Right, now I'm gonna move it over the excuse me, over the baited area. And then basically what I'm gonna do is start jigging it up and down. Now sometimes you don't need to jig it, you can just hold it there. But this is what it's supposed to be, is jigging your bait up and down. And in here, in, in commercials, this is... Here, oh, missed it. It's not a commercial, this is just a little pond. It's got fuller hide, carp, uh, bream, tench, crusions, all sorts in here. So, all we do is just hold us, pull out, and then wait for it. Just keep feeding basically. We're going to keep feeding, be comfortable, feed over the top and then just jig up and down with this pole. Get it comfortable with your knees. Best thing is to be comfortable. There we go, we've jigged one on. That's probably an eye. So then what we do is we move him out of the swim, get his catapult, fire some bait in over the top where we're fishing. And then all we do then is just ship this one in. We've moved him out of a swim. Now, normally, I like to have my rollers a bit higher, but it is quite awkward. There's a bit of weed in front. So you've got to be quite... There we are, skimmer. Young skimmer, look. Look at that. Let's get his casters back. Make sure you get your caster back. There we go, perfectly hooked. Young skimmer, come to the jigger. So it is a bit awkward with my net and everything. So I've got my net that side. There's a patch of weed in front, but like I say, we're just gonna have to do his best. And we're up quite high on the platform, so it's Normally I'd like to keep them low and play them in low, but here you just you just ain't got the chance. So that's why my rollers are a bit funny. That's why I'm I'm fishing <laughs> I, higher than I want to be, and that's why I've got the the pole up in the air when I'm bringing them in. Basically, it's 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 a little bit awkward for this sort of fishing, but perfect if you're going to fish a waggler or it, you know it's comfortable that sort of way. There we go. Got another one. A rabbit in on then, and it just. Uh, just took that so it's a better fish that I think just try and get him out of a swim so there we go we fed again and then bring the fish out if you swim and then start shipping back oh and he's come off But got my caster back, everything's intact. Probably one of them big eyed. So again, repeat the process, ship out 30 meters, get comfy, comfortable on that. Get your catapult in your hand, fire a few casters where we're fishing. There's jigger floor in the middle of that and then hopefully it'll go it didn't go on that occasion so I'm just holding it buy some more casters over the top Not that time. So that's it. Repeat the process. Never try and put your cal catapult down because you need it. That's why people have it in their mouth, plumbing in their ear, on the art, wherever they keep it. But what you want to do is, the name of the game is feed. 
and then go over the top with your jigger. Sometimes you can vary it. Sometimes you can slap it. Sometimes you can just pop it in the middle. Sometimes you just you just try and anything to try and get that bite or let let that fish get that cast of what's going down. And another good thing is say if I were in a match situation and I were fishing caster shallow like this I'd have a deck rig set up because you're not going to get them all the time and sometimes it might go a little bit iffy and then you can put the deck rig on and catch a few bonus fish underneath as well I've just seen a carp moving that's why I think it's gone a bit dead and just see them on the surface so that's it really simple fishing but exactly like a pellet waggler you've got to keep changing it up all the time keep changing your feeding jig it up and down then sometimes just leave it and just hold it there fire a few casters let's see if we can hold it there fire a few casters of it top let's see if it goes this time and that's all we're doing repeat the process fire them casters in round as float get comfortable I like to keep control with my knee there we go we've got one and just jig that up and up and down and then just ever so slightly up and we've got one so we move the fish out of the swim catapult some bait in over where we are and then we've got a chance to ship them back now. This doesn't seem as big as that other one what we had on, but nevertheless, what is it? Oh, it's in that weed look. Get him out of there. There we go. That looks like a proper roach. You've got to be good to catch proper roach, haven't you? Look at that. There you go. Pound and a half, pa pound and a half, pound roach there. Cast is still all good. Keep checking your rig every time it comes in. The shot hadn't moved down, it was working fine. Quick check of the rig and we're out again. And this time we'll leave it in its... Uh... Yeah, I can see a carp on top there. We're going to get a carp in a minute, definitely. So just leave it pole in the uh, pole roller while you put some bait out and then ship out again. And we've up to carp. See I didn't even feed that time. Who knows if we'll get this out or not because it looked quite big in. So let's just let him go out there while we put some feed in keep them hide and roach and what have you going let's see if we can get this carp in he's made quite a dash to the middle of the lake but let's just see if we can get him out let the elastic do the work. Got strongish gear on, so you never know. We might get a car out. If I can get him on this top kit oh, and over that weed, it might be alright. On the top kit now. Well, while he's on the top kit, we could just chuck while it's quiet some casters now maybe they're not going to 13 meters but we're going to like 10 meters and it just keeps them fish interested he's off he's off he's off come back he's coming back let's see if we can get him now 
give him a bit of teddy. That elastic doing the job perfectly. Now the carp going up to here, up to about 18 pound, but the average stamp is about four pound, three to four pound, so we might be all right if we can just coast him. Oh no, 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 no. Thought he would come in then. Just round that corner. Might be able to just scoop him, no. Next one. Oh. And he's there in the net. We've done him. Oh, look at that. It must be five pound. Four or five pound. There we go. In the mouth. We even got us cast about but it's a bit uh, I think it's had it. So there we are. Five pound cat on the caster shallow. And you're gonna get them bonus fish. So but what we do, pick the caster which is the right one that you want on, the orange one, not the crispy one. There we go. Right, orange caster on. Let's double feed before we go out. So, 20 casters. 20 casters, there we go. Then we're gonna go straight over the top of that. Not feed this, not feed this time while it's there, just go straight over the top and see if we can get one. What's just milling about on the surface there before we feed. No, nope, we didn't get one that time, so pick the catapult back up and repeat the process. Feed over the top. And jig up and down. What we'll do this time is we'll feed over the top and then we'll just not move. There we go, and that's took it. So that time we didn't jig, we just holded it there and let it pull the elastic out. So pull to the side out of the swim, feed again, and then back with your pole, play your fish up to your left. this I'd or a skimmer I think or an hybrid yeah it's an hybrid that oh, come out in net oh don't lose my caster oh no my caster's stuck there we go it's out Bit of a small eye bread, about a pound and a pound. And that's it. Let's check his rig before it goes back out. Perfect. Tighten his elastic up. And we'll put two pouches of caster out. Chip out over that section. Oh, just add one then. This didn't get it right. Pick his catapult up. There we go. Take him out of the swim. Oh, left casters on my bummy knee there, look. 
We'll just tack him out and we swim and then we'll feed it. There we go, fed it again. Ready for the next one. <coughs> I think it's a big brain, you know. It is. Yeah. Another bream that time. Cast is perfect. Popping back. Checkers rig. And that's it. That's as simple as it gets. Keep checking your rig. I know that we're only pleasuring, but if you can put it into a match, and like I said, the more you work at it, the better your swim's gonna be. And yeah, it is a little bit awkward with the fish and the weeds and the pole rollers and what have you, but just try and get comfy as much as you can, and then you'll be on for a good weight. So feed again. Jig it with your knee. We're on and then off, on and off, on and off. And if you want, I'm feeding about 20 to 25 casters, I would think, just a little pinch every, um, well, I don't know, pretty much every 10 minutes, every 10 minutes, every like 10 seconds, five seconds. So this is why you need a few parts of casters. And this is where you hear the stories of, oh yeah, I've I brought 10 pints of casters with me. I brought 15 pints of casters with me. You're feeding it all the time, you see. I didn't get one that time, so I'm just going to slap it over, hold it there, see if it goes. No. Try that again. Two slaps. Hold it there. No, nope, not on that time. Let it go down. Feed and then jig. So that's what I mean by alternating it all the time. There we go, and it's gone. That were a vicious, vicious pull round. So, out of the swim. <laughs> Fifteen casters. Might be a carp this again. Fifteen casters over the top, and then we're playing this fish. I think it is a carp again. So we'll just try his best. Oh, give him a bit here. If it ain't a carp, it's probably the biggest eye I've ever seen. I can't see it now. It's gone dark. He's black as old this fish, I can't see him under water. He was going to that side.
The wind's got up, but the fishing has got better. Just with that bit of wind on, it's just helped them fish feel much safer and come up in water. There we go. And them hide are really having a gun now. So. And that's it, that's all I've done is just repeat the process, kept them casters going in, and that is it really. And we've had a fantastic evening. Carp, big eyed, bream, and that's going in bloody snags. Look at this bloody thing. Big eyed, carp, bream, all sorts we've had. Another eye look, hooked perfectly. Cast is still intact, getting back. So, that is it. Simple way of jigging, jigger fishing. Jigging? Simple way of jigger fishing. Can't get no much simpler than that. Get out on the bank and try it for yourself. I'm going to carry on. Check out these new um, midi jiggers. They come in a three number eights and a two number eights. They're out at the minute. So yeah, definitely have a look at those. Get yourself out jigger fishing. It's real easy to do, real simple. And uh, that is it, guys. I'm going to carry on fishing. See if I can get some more. Afraid you're gonna have to go. So, uh, till the next time, keep on bagging. Hi guys, thanks for tuning on the video. If you want to see more videos, hit this awesome playlist down here. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and if you want to become a member, hit the join button. Thanks for watching the video guys, we'll see you soon, keep on bagging.